Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stabilize footage in Final Cut Pro. Whoa, hey, easy now. Okay, let me bring this down. Hold on, I can fix this. Turn this. All right, much better. Now I'm gonna share with you how to use editing and filming techniques to improve your shaky footage. And then we're gonna take a deep dive into the stabilization tool built into Final Cut Pro. Let's check that out. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro. I got a couple clips here that we are going to stabilize. All of them don't look great. So we're gonna to try to correct that movement. All right, so the main tool that we wanna look at today is the stabilization tool. And we're gonna find that up here in the inspector. So to help us out, I'm gonna show you a cool trick. Uh, if you double click in this area right at the top of the inspector, it fills up the entire side of your workspace. So right here, we're gonna start with just the first one. We're gonna click on stabilization. Now you'll see right over here, it's Final Cut is saying, okay, we're doing something, analyzing for dominant motion. So it's analyzing that clip. Let's give it a moment. All right, all the render dots are away. And let's play that back and see what it did. Much smoother. Yeah, that's a big improvement. And something else you'll notice, watch when I click this, it scales in. So with this feature, what you're gonna notice on every clip that gets stabilized is it does cut in a little closer. So if you filmed only at 1080p, just know that it's you're gonna lose a little bit of quality on these shots. It does pay to record in 4K, even though you're gonna be exporting in 1080. You just get a lot more uh, flexibility to scale in, crop in, and do things like stabilize your footage. We just went with whatever Final Cut did there, but there's actually a few options under the stabilization menu. So when we just turn on stabilization, Final Cut Pro chooses between these other options. It chooses to either set you up with inertia cam or smooth cam. Inertia cam works a lot better when uh, during pans, movements, uh, smooth cam, it adjusts the X axis, the Y, and the Z axis, as well as like the rotation. So the smooth cam is working on all the axes, trying to get everything correct. What I found that I prefer the most is the inertia cam. All right, so we're gonna go from automatic to inertia, and we can see that that smoothing setting stayed in place. And that's because, and that's because Final Cut chose inertia cam for this clip. So we can actually adjust this and make it even more stable. Let's crank it up to three. And then we're gonna play that back. All right, there's a lot of wobble in there. You see that? So in cases like that, what you're gonna to wanna to do is scale that back down. Let's go back to one because that still looked okay. We can also set up for tripod mode. Now this will not always appear clickable. And what tripod mode does is it makes it look and have the feel almost that it's on a tripod. It actually will try to stabilize and have it locked in to a certain point. So let's play this back and see the effects. I'm not liking that. You could see right up here above the mouse that it just created a little bit of a warping effect. We're just gonna go with the standard. You just gotta find that, you just gotta fine tune it to where it's just right. So let's click on this clip. We're gonna hit stabilization on this one. Looks like it also chose inertia cam. And it did a pretty good job. And in this case, the tripod mode did not activate. It does not give us the option to use that. So we can increase this and let's see what it does to this clip. Ooh, no bueno. So just another case where we wanna just keep it at a lower setting to get the best look and feel. Now let's see what it does on this clip. It's still going with inertia cam, but for this clip, I'm gonna go ahead and click on smooth cam. So it gives you some control in three different areas. One is translation, which is the X and Y axis. So you can control whether or not you want that to even be corrected or whether you wanna increase the correction that it does for that. And the other, uh, the other option that you've got here is the rotation. So whether or not you want the clip to be rotated, the scale is the Z axis. So almost like the zoom, whether it gets pushed back or forward or you know scaled in. Let's leave the shaking on the dance floor. I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. 
So there are certain image sensors and cameras that can cause an issue with very fast moving footage. So if you're say on a train, you see you have movement, or if your, your, your camera was moving around a lot, you almost might see like either a diagonal bent or wobble in your footage. A lot of that can be corrected with the rolling shutter. So you could literally just grab a, a clip here, hit rolling shutter, and it will try to correct that. And that rolling shutter can almost act as a correction for the wobble that you're even seeing when you overstabilize some footage. So the rolling shutter is a really great tool for that. There are multiple strength levels. So if you still have that wobble or that lean, you just increase. If it overcorrects, you can bring it back in. A little bit of trial and error to see if that is gonna fix your footage for you. So a couple things to remember as you're filming, bend your knees as you're walking. Do almost like a, like a forward moonwalk sort of thing. And then you can use your strap. If you tighten up your strap a little bit and hold the camera with the strap tight, you're giving that camera extra points of contact and stabilization. Use your surroundings to stabilize it. Find a tree, a wall, a table, you know, something that you can lean on or use as just a little bit more stabilization. If the tripod is, is, is too bulky, it's in the way, push all the legs in, use it as a steady cam, or you can have one of the legs extended and use it like a monopod. You set up, get your shot, then lift it up, carry it, and you're moving on to the next spot. And one last thing, you can always highlight your clips, go to the automatic speed under the retime editor, click that, and slower moving footage, slower movements, make it seem like it's not as shaky. And now you can see with the stabilization and the slower moving footage, you actually have a smoother shot because you don't see those shakes as drastic. All right, so we took a look at how stabilization within Final Cut Pro can improve your footage that's a little shaky. We also saw how rolling shutter and the retime editor can both help with improving the footage as well. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Now that we're going steady, I have a free gift for you, a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.